Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. A question we've been seeing some of you ask lately is how to change colors in the middle of a fishtail bracelet. So today we're going to be showing you that. This method also works if you've run out of cord in the middle of your project and you want to keep going on without it starting over. So here's a fishtail bracelet that I've been working on and I'd like to add a white stripe in the middle. So I've got some extra cord here to add a few stripes. This works best with a single cord, a single strand fishtail bracelet but you can probably make it work with two as well. So I've got this cord weaving back and forth as one does with a fishtail bracelet. And here I'd like to add some, some white, change colors to white. So without cutting this cord, I'm just gonna take my white and put the end of it down through the middle. We won't trim it right away. We're just gonna keep on going. So our, our blue cord is going off to the left here. We want to just stick our white cord down through the right side and just leave a little bit of a tail so that it doesn't slip through. Then we're just going to keep on going like before. We're going to wrap around, but you're going to notice we're coming up through the middle instead of down through the middle. So that's fine if we're just going to do the rest of the bracelet in white, but what if we want to add a different third color? But then we're going to have our cord coming up at the top when we want to change colors again. We don't want this up on top of our bracelet. So to fix that problem, instead of coming up through the middle, once you start your white cord, here we've got it coming out to the right side again. We're just going to wrap it all the way around the bottom to come over to the right side before putting it down through the middle like before. So here I'll secure this in place by bringing it back and forth a couple times. and then we'll flip it over to show you what it looks like. And it's not always super tidy. There is a noticeable difference there. You know, you won't be able to have this on the top of your bracelet anymore. But since it's hidden beneath, it really doesn't cause a problem. We'll just have two cut ends, we'll melt them after we're done, and then one stripe going across. So all out of the way, and from the top, it looks pretty seamless. So I'm gonna keep on going. I'm going to add a white stripe, go back and forth between colors a couple times, and then at the end, I'll show you how to finish it off. So I may have gotten a little bit carried away. Um, I did a bunch of stripes, so I have all these ends on the bottom, but hey, that's what this tutorial is all about. So hopefully you saw what I was doing there in the time lapse. Um, I'm just gonna finish off this end before we clip all our other ends and finish it off. So for this last one, because it's a single strand cord, there's no way that we can keep a loop on there and you know, with a one end, it does, just doesn't secure itself very well. So what I do on the end is that I loop it through just like normal, but then on the back side, I just tuck it under, underneath the last loop. So basically just tying a, a half hitch here with the end so that it comes up between the cord instead of on the end here. Tighten that down and then you probably want to immediately cut this end and seal that off just so it doesn't slip.
All right, so that's all set to go. And then before we go clipping all of our other ends, we just wanna make sure that they're all tightened down. They can have a tendency to just loosen a little bit while you're making the rest of your bracelet. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those and then cut them all off and melt them. All right, so I think you used half a lighter on that thing. Make sure you flatten them all down really well because that'll be sitting against your skin. And if there's sharp edges, that's gonna rub. Uh, but I think I am happy with the result. We've got our stripes on top and our toggle knot on the end. If you wanna know how to set up this bracelet, we just put out another video on that. It shows you how to make the toggle knot and set up the bracelet without a buckle. Hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you did, let us know down in the comments. And if you'd like to learn how to set up this bracelet for yourself with no buckle and with this toggle knot instead, check out our recent video on that subject. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Our changing place. Changing place. <laughs> I sound like a nanny. <laughs>